All right then gang, so now we have our modal working, opening and closing. The next step is to create a form inside this modal so that a user can add some details to create a new review which will then be listed on the home screen. So we could create this form and place it in here from absolute scratch. We'd run our own validation logic and functions and we keep track of our state using hooks, etc. But instead, I wanna show you how we can easily do all this using a couple of third party libraries, Formic and Yup. Now, Formic is a library which allows us to easily create a form which keeps track of our values inside those form fields instead of us manually tracking them using state. And Yup is a validation library and that allows us to easily set up some validation rules for each individual form field. And those two libraries work very well together in tandem and we'll see exactly how they work together later. But in this video, I just wanna focus on creating a simple form, first of all, with Formic. So the first step is to install Formic. And to do that, we can say npm install Formic. And that's gonna install the Formic package for us. So once that's installed, we can go ahead and create a new file inside the screens folder. And we're gonna call this reviewform.js. And this is where our form component is gonna live. So the first thing I'm gonna do inside this file is paste in a few import statements. And that is the React library, a few different components from React Native, style sheet, button, text import, view, and text. We have the global styles from the global file, which we created earlier. And also at the bottom now, we have Formic from Formic. That is the thing we just installed. So this right here is the component we're gonna to use to make a Formic form. But first we need to create the review form component itself. So to do that, we'll say export default function review form and then inside we need to return some kind of JSX template, so return like so. Okay, so inside here we want a view, first of all, and I'm gonna apply a style prop to that, and that is gonna be from the global styles.container. This is a style we created in one of the first lessons of this uh, application. So let us now, inside there, create a form. Now to do that, we use the formic tag and this formic tag can take several different props the first prop we're going to register is going to be the initial values prop so initial values and that is going to be equal to an object and this object is basically going to list the different fields that we're going to have in this form and the initial values of those fields so the key of each item inside this object is going to be the title of the field in essence and the value will be the initial value of that field. So first of all, we'll have a field called title, which is the review title. And initially that is gonna be an empty string. We're also gonna have a field called body, and that is gonna be an empty string to begin with. And then finally we'll have rating, which will also be an empty string to begin with. So these are the initial values of our three different form fields, one for title, body, and rating. Now the next prop is going to be the on submit prop and that is equal to a function. And this function is gonna run when we submit this form. We need to just do this correctly. Submit like so. And this function takes in an argument right here called values. And these values represent the different values inside the three different fields, title, body, and rating at the time of the form being submitted. So say they've filled in all of the form fields. When we submit, we get all of those fields inside this object values, okay? So that's our formic tag. And inside the formic tag right here, we can then create our different form fields. Now, the way we do this is inside a render function. And a render function is basically just a function which returns some JSX. A bit like this right here, we're just returning some JSX. We're gonna do the same thing inside the formic tag. And the reason we need to do this is because we're gonna pass this function some formic props. So let's do curly braces because inside we're gonna write some JavaScript and we have to do curly braces to write that JavaScript. And we'll just create a function 
and that function is going to return some JSX inside these parentheses. Okay, now in here we get a value which you can call what you want. I'm going to call it props. Some people like to call this formic props or something like that because these are props provided to us inside this function automatically by formic itself. So we nest this function inside the formic component and automatically we get access to some props provided by formic. And those props include things like functions for handling the change of different form fields. So when a user starts to type into a form field, we can call a function which handles that change. We also have access to the current values on the props and also a submission handler on the props as well when a user submits the form. So inside here, now we can return some JSX, which is going to then render the different form fields, the different text inputs. So they're all going to live inside a view, first of all. And then our first text input is going to be for the title. So we'll add some props to this text input. First of all, a style prop, and that is going to be equal to global styles dot input. Now we've not created that global style just yet, but we will do in the future. Next, we're going to do a placeholder, and that is going to be equal to, in this case, review title. And then next, I'm going to do an on change text prop. Remember, this expects a function which is going to run whenever the text inside this input changes. So whenever a user starts to type, and the function that we're going to run is a function found on the props that we receive. And it's going to be props dot handle change. And then in here, we say what value we want to change. Well, it's the title one. So what this is going to do is on the values, it's going to update the title property because on the values, we can say something like values dot title later on. It's going to update that property for us with whatever a user types into this text input. So it's handling the state behind the scene for us. OK, and then finally, what I'm going to do down here is put a value prop in and that value is going to be props dot values dot title. So remember this right here, this function updates the title property on the values. And then what we're doing now is saying the value of this text input is going to be that value. So we have a bit of two way data binding going on. And this is really going to help us in the future when we come to submit the form and reset all the values, because we're going to reset the values to be the initial values. And then that means because the title is updated then to be the initial value, it's going to reflect inside the form fields and show an empty form field again. OK. So that's why we need this two way data binding going on. So that's the first text input. Let's do the second one. I've copied that. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to scoot this in a little bit like so. And this is going to be for the review body. And down here we want to update the body property. And also we want to set the value to be the body property. So that's the second field. And in fact, I also want to do on here multi line because we might add a lot of text. OK, so the next one down here is going to be for the rating. So let's do that. And we can change this to rating and say it's got to be between one and five. And this is going to update the rating property and the value will be the rating property. OK, so now we have all of those three form fields. We do also need a button. And this button will have a title equal to submit. And also it's going to have a color equal to maroon. And we, oops, I've spelled that incorrectly. We also need an on press prop, which is going to call some kind of function. Now, again, we get access to a function on these props called handle submit. So we can just call that right here props dot handle submit and what that does is actually come up here and run this function for us so at that point in time it grabs all the values from these three inputs and we can do something with them all i'm going to do is say console.log values for now okay phew so there we have our form now we need to actually render this form so let's cross this off 
open up the tree and go to home and I want to render it right here but first of all we need to import it so let's import review form from and then it's going to be dot forward slash the current directory review oops review form okay so that will render it however it's not going to look great at the minute and in fact I'm going to need to do a total refresh of this process because we installed a new package so let me cancel out the process and press expo start again to restart this I'm going to cross this off it's opened up some new developer tools for us I'm going to run this on an Android device over here and it should open up again so we can see those changes eventually now we've imported review form I've just noticed but we've not actually rendered it so let's do it down here review form like so and if we save this again hopefully when we open the modal now we'll see a form but that form is not going to look like anything much to begin with because we've not styled any of it so we can't really see anything so what I'm going to do is actually go to this global file and add on some styles for the input because we said we're going to have an input rule so let's create that input and first of all it's going to have a border width and that is going to be one then we're going to do a border color and that is going to be ddd so a gray color after that we'll do some padding which is going to be 10 pixels and then after that we'll do a font size which will be about 18 and then we'll do border radius just to soften it six pixels okay so let's save that now and then let's check out the form again so open this up and we can see the form fields right there they don't look great at the minute but we will make them look better later I promise but we also don't see the button and I think some of the problem here is to do with the styles of modal content because it should be to do with the oh okay so I've just noticed this this should be styles it's done that a lot on me throughout this series I don't know why so I'm gonna save that now um, I am actually gonna have to restart this if it doesn't reload no it does reload okay so let's open this up okay and that looks a lot better now okay so we can see the review title the body and the rating now one thing I want to do is change the pad for the rating it should be numeric so let me open up review form and down here we'll do another prop which is keyboard type oops keyboard type and this is going to be equal to numeric not number pad numeric okay save that again in fact close this off first of all then save it because sometimes it likes to throw a paddy if the modal is open and you save and it tries to rerun always close the modal first if we open up the modal now and we go to review title we see this keypad in rating we should see numbers awesome okay so what I'm gonna do is just now type in a load of junk in fact not numbers we'll do letters here for the review title review body and then over here we'll do like five I'm gonna submit it now nothing happens here but hopefully we should be logging to the console those values this is the old one so let me try and find the new one this one okay so if we go to the Android we can see now we're logging those values the body the rating and the title so we're kind of halfway there now but we still need to do a few things we need to first of all take this data and add it to the reviews which we're not doing yet and then we also need to reset the form because when I add something like this then it's not going to reset it automatically the values still remain there so we need to figure out a way to reset it as well and then beyond that we also need to validate these things so we'll carry on with this in the next video